Hey y'all, welcome to Ms. Clark's chemistry class. I've been teaching chemistry for over 20 years and I'm here to help you make sense of what you've learned in class. In this lesson, we're gonna learn about writing ionic compounds. The ionic compounds that we're gonna focus on deal with main metals and those transition metals. If this is what you're looking for, go ahead and press the like button. Also, grab your notes, grab your periodic table and your pen and let's get started. Ionic compounds, those are compounds that are made out of metals and non-metals. We're also going to need to use oxidation numbers. Remember, those are the charges of the ions, and we can get those just from looking at the periodic table. Also, ionic compounds, they must be neutral. So let's try our first one, calcium oxide. Let's look at this on the periodic table. The first thing we should recognize is that calcium, that's a main group metal. It's a plus two. Oxide, that means oxygen. Oxygen is a minus two. So we're gonna write the symbols of each and put the oxidation numbers of each. Calcium with a plus two, oxygen with a minus two. And remember, ionic compounds, they've gotta be neutral. So since plus two and minus two equals zero, it only took one calcium and one oxygen to get a neutral compound. So our compound's formula is just CaO. Because when calcium is in the presence of oxygen, they're gonna to come together in a one-to-one -one ratio. Lithium sulfide. Let's find lithium on the periodic table. Lithium. It's a main group metal. It has a charge of plus one. Sulfide, that just means sulfur. Sulfur is a minus two. So if we write the symbol with their charges, we've got lithium as a plus one cation, sulfur as a minus two anion. Let's remember, an ionic compound must equal zero. Plus one and minus two, that does not equal zero. That equals minus one. That is not an ionic compound. Remember, an ionic compound only forms when we have got zero as the net charge. That means we're gonna need two lithiums. We need two plus one charges to balance out that minus two charge so we can equal zero. That means we're gonna need two lithiums for every one oxygen, Li2O. Don't we wish there was a shortcut for that? We don't want to think about the math every single time equaling zero. Our shortcut is let's crisscross down the number. Let's drop the charge. You can't have negative elements. So we're going to forget the positive and the negative and only look at the number. Let's practice that. So let's look at magnesium nitride. Magnesium, also a main group metal with a plus two charge. Nitride, that means nitrogen. Nitrogen has a minus three charge. So if we write both of their symbols with the oxidation numbers on them, we've got Mg plus two, because magnesium is in group two plus two. Nitrogen is in group 15, so it has a negative three charge. That does not equal zero. The shortcut is just to cross those numbers down and ignore the sign. No plus, no negative, just the two and the three. So we're gonna give the three to magnesium and the two to nitrogen. Because if we have three plus two charges, that's a plus six. And if we have two negative three charges, that's a negative six, plus six, negative six, that equals zero. This shortcut always works, only if you reduce it down to the lowest whole number ratio. Three and two, it doesn't reduce down past that. Now this shortcut stays true even for transition metals. So let's look at this example. Copper two bromide. Now remember the Roman numeral two, that tells us what the oxidation number of copper is because copper is a transition metal. Bromine, that's a halogen. It's going to be negative one. So if we write that, we've got Cu, copper, which is a plus two because of the Roman numeral. Bromine is a negative one because it's a halogen. And remember, we wanna crisscross those numbers and ignore the sign. Now, I don't know if we've said this before, but in chemistry, 
most of the time, ones are understood. So we're not going to crisscross down the one. We're only going to crisscross down the two. So that's going to leave us C-U-B-R-2. The two cross down and the one is understood. So anytime you have an element with no number, that is always an understood one. Let's try another example with a transition metal. 10 Roman numeral 4 oxide. 10, 4 oxide. That means 10 has an oxidation number of 4. Oxide, that's just oxygen. Oxygen's in group 16. It has an oxidation number of negative 2. So we have 10 plus 4, oxygen negative 2. We're going to crisscross those numbers down just like before. So SN is going to get a 2 and oxygen is going to get a 4. I don't know if you were paying attention before, but I said when you crisscross down, you always have to use the lowest whole number ratio. 2 and 4, not the lowest whole number ratio. Both of those numbers are divisible by 2. So we're going to divide out a 2. Or basically, if you think back to math, we're going to reduce this down. When we reduce this down by dividing both numbers by 2, we're going to get SN1, but remember we don't write ones, and O2. All we did was to divide both numbers by 2. That gave us SN1, O2. If you're going to use the shortcut to crisscross down, you always have to reduce down. If you found that helpful, go ahead and subscribe. Also, share it to your friends that might be struggling. Until next time, bye y'all.